So here we have Acer Nagunda in the Aceraceae family, commonly known as box elder or ashleaf maple. Our Acer Nagunda ranges from central Canada down into Central America. It's here in the United States, it's primarily found in the east with some pockets in the west in California, Nevada, ranging east into Colorado. However, it has been introduced and naturalized throughout much of the world, um, including here in Oregon, places like New Zealand, throughout Europe, etc. And in fact, in Russia, it's known as American maple as one of the common names. So it has many, many common names. Our Acer Nagunda typically grows anywhere from 30 to 70 feet tall. So the Acer Nagunda is sort of the black sheep of the Aceraceae family. So it's the black sheep of our maples. So the leaves are one of the things that make this particular maple so unique to its genus. And in fact, the common name Ashleaf Maple comes from the fact that unlike your typical simple palmately lobed leaves of the maples, this actually is pinnately compound, kind of like your ash leaves. However, unlike your ash leaves, each of these leaflets tends to be variable in shape and in leaf margins. So some of the leaf margins can be somewhat palmately lobed or slightly lobed, much like a typical maple leaf. Some may be coarsely toothed, and some may even have entire margins. In terms of the fruit typical of the Aceraceae, and in particular the genus Acer, the maples, the fruits are a cluster of double-winged Samaras. And those double-winged Samaras are at an acute angle, so they are V-shaped. So acute-winged Samaras, pinnately compound leaves with three to five leaflets, and those variable leaf margins are your main key characteristics for this species. So the bark of our Acer Nagunda typically will start off fairly smooth when it's young, but as that tree matures, it will develop these narrow furrows or fissures in the tree, almost like the stretch marks on a tree. So one of the primary uses for Acer Nagunda is actually simply landscaping and cultivation, which is really interesting because it can actually become a fairly weedy invasive species that's short-lived and prone to mortality. Some of the other uses include fiber for fiberboard. Some indigenous people have also used Acer Nagunda to produce sap. It's not as prolific as your sugar maple for sap production. Also, some of the oldest wooden flutes found in the Americas were produced from Acer Nagunda.